The City Mouse and the Country Mouse Once upon a time, in a bustling city, lived a sleek and sophisticated mouse named Millie. Oh, that pizza aroma. City life is full of delicious surprises. Hey, Millie, how are you? Hi, Max. I'm good. How are you? Want some pizza? She dined on scraps from bakeries, danced between stacks of books in the library, and slept in cozy nests made of tissue paper. Life was exciting, but sometimes a bit overwhelming for Millie. One day, Millie received a tempting invitation from her cousin Max, who lived in a quiet countryside cottage. No thanks, Millie. I just had breakfast. Millie, why don't you visit countryside? Grandma will be happy to see you. She will cook a lots of food for you. Also, Mom and Dad and Amanda, my sister, we can all go around to show you the countryside. The sweet smell of corn farm, chirping of little birds in the wood, sound of waterfall, I'm sure you'll enjoy a lot. Oh, really? Thanks for inviting me, Max. I am excited to visit. He talked about meadows filled with juicy berries, sun-drenched nap spots under sunflowers, and nights bathed in moonlight. Intrigued by the peace and simplicity, Millie set off on a journey to visit Max. Arriving at the cozy cottage, Millie was greeted by Max, a plump and contented mouse with whiskers long as blades of grass. He led her through fields of fragrant clover, offering her sweet berries and introducing her to his friends, the chirping sparrows and playful ants. Millie loved the tranquility of the countryside. She napped under sunflowers, chased butterflies in the breeze, and feasted on fresh grains from the barn. It was a slower pace, but one she found surprisingly charming. However, as days turned into weeks, Millie started missing the city's excitement. She yearned for the clinking of bells on horse-drawn carriages, the hum of music from open cafes, and the warmth of the bakery ovens. The quiet nights, once peaceful, now felt empty without the city's vibrant sounds. Max understood. He bid Millie a fond farewell, and with a little tear in her eye, Millie scurried back to the city. The bustling streets and fragrant bakeries felt familiar and comforting. She savored her tasty supper, content to be back in her cozy tissue paper nest. From that day on, Millie appreciated both worlds. She continued her city adventures, but also treasured her memories of Max and the peaceful countryside. She realized that no matter where she was, as long as she had kindness and a spirit of adventure, she could find happiness and excitement. If you like this rhyme then please give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe so that you do not miss any new mysterious and adventurous stories.